welcome then we are going to show you how to write a custom code in SSR, SSRS report and use them in our reports you know that uh, in SSRS we have around 100 plus functions uh, which is available to fulfill our business requirement and data formatting and expressions but sometimes we need some custom code to give more clarity our business requirement so how does this function work in SSRS so we are going to show them here now in this report you can see here in this report we have a item wise sales data for a particular region if we want to show, show the performance of any item in a particular region then we need to provide some data formatting here so if I am write this data formatting in my report we need uh, write up some expression here like text box in text box there is a border fulfill number alignment font border fill okay now you can see here there are fill color by default is white and I need to change this color based on the performance of the item in a particular region so I am going to use a function here like if my total sales of the item in this region is less than $1,000 that means the background color should be pink else it should be green so this is the function which uh, I have wrote here there is an expression okay now if I am going to execute my report here you can see Yeah, you can see here the uh, data background color is going to be changed you can see here the performance of the item is less than thousand one thousand dollar in the pink areas if I need some more condition for the progress of the item in a particular region I need to write up uh, I need to change this expression again in my report and I need to write a, a custom expression again here for example you can see if my sales is greater than thousand one thousand dollar and less than and less than five hundred five thousand then I need another color color that is aqua okay now I'm going to click on ok button then you can see here in the report you can see here the sales less than 1000 it is pink the sales between 1000 and 5000 is cyan and other sales greater than 5000 is in green color ok so in this case if I need to write I need to change this expression and provide more color in my report so I need to do some more changes in my expression like this what I am going to do here again I am just add another situation if sales less greater than 5000 and less than 10,000 that means it should be yellow 
uh, now you can see here we have uh, add more expression in our background color for the sales performance so it is going to be very hard to maintain this thing again and again so if I, we are going to preview of our report you can see here the performance of the item in different regions so if i am talking about inkjet printer uh, in north india it is being in south india it is cyan so in east it is pink again then yellow in west and middle india also so the thing is that uh, it is very hectic to maintain this kind of expressions in the property of the report so what we are going to do here we are write up some custom code in our report so we are going to add a custom code function here like that back color in this function you can see here this function is asking for a input parameter that is INP sales value as decimal and we are passes, uh, watching or doing some conditional things in my function you can see here if our sales is less than 1000 it should be pink if our sales sales is greater than 1000 less than 5000 it should be if our sales is greater than 5000 and less than 10000 it should be yellow and if the sales is greater than 10,000 it should be light green so we are using this function in our report okay to uh, to add this function in our report we are going into the report and uh, report menu and in report properties in the code section we are going to just paste this code in our report okay and click on ok button now preview of the report the thing is that now we need to remove this expression from the sales uh, from the sales cache tab box so in the background color we are going to the expression and just remove this thing from my report property and get background ground color we are calling our function here and passing the sales value here now what we did it is very easy now you can see we are getting the same thing in our report with the help of custom function so if we want to add or change the font color of the background then we need to add one more function here called get font color so in the code section uh, of the report properties we are, you can see here we are adding one more function okay in this function we are doing the same stuff but the thing is that we are uh, change the font color with the help of function okay it is very easy now you can see here now uh, to, uh, to call this function in our report property of the text box in the color section we are going to the expression window expression window we are calling this function here code dot get font color because our font color is based on a parameter value so we are using sales case as a 
parameter for this function so we are passing sum of sales case here in our report okay now uh, what we did uh, uh, in our report we have used two more functions uh, custom functions in my report one for the background color one for the font color in our report so we are going to preview of our report now you can see here what we write up in our custom code if total sales is less than 1000 then back background color should be pink and font color should be red if total sales is between 1000 and 5000 then background color is cyan and font color is blue if our sales is between 5000 and 10000 then background color is yellow and font color is maroon if our sales is greater than 10000 then background color of the the sales is light green and the font color is green so this is very simple stuff to write a custom code and call these code in our report with the help of properties now we are we did two settings in our report uh, in our report for background we are going to the text box uh, background property and call the function get background color and the font we call the function get font color and pass the total sum of the sales so it is very easy to use a custom code in our report hopefully you like it please subscribe my channel on youtube